Hey everybody, this is Dean from Motion Media, and today we're going to take a look at Mari 1.4, the newest version of the Foundry's uh, 3D paint tool. And uh, my boss, Brian, asked me to, without being a texture artist or without ever having any exposure to Mari, to install the software and spend some time with it and then sort of report my results. So that's what I'm doing here. So like I said, I'm a 3D artist. I don't generally paint textures, so I'm a little bit out of my element here. But this is what I've done. I have a robot head here from a previous project. You can see I just have a simple scene. He has no textures. Uh, this is what it looks like rendered. So I exported that as an OBJ, and I'm just going to kind of show you quickly what the workflow is like in Mari. So I'm first going to start a new project. I'm going to call it Robot Head. It wants me to tell it where the geometry is. So I'm going to point Mari to where I have the OBJ file and select it. Say open. Then there are various um, other parameters here which I'm going to accept. The defaults basically explaining uh, or, or um, deciding which uh, texture channels you're going to use and how big they are and so on. I'm just going to check them all off and say OK. OK, there's my robot head. You can see this is set up uh, in pretty much a, a normal fashion here. You've got your tools over here, the various menu items. Uh, you can see the brush editor is open as well as the color palette and what have you. All pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to choose a camera view here. And then I'm also going to add a channel. And we'll call this diffuse. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Again, I'm just going to accept the defaults here. Alright. Now I'm going to. Uh, one thing that I could use as a tool is a way to um, let's choose a brush over here um, make uh, quick masks uh, dirt masks and what have you so really quickly I came in and I'm just going to paint a darker color around some of the edges here And I'm I'm not being very um, artistic, <laughs> obviously. So I'm just going to quickly draw some lines here around the edges. And overall, I found this tool very easy to get into, very easy to navigate. Um, just going to draw a little bit around here. Let's do the same thing on the right here. I'm sure most of you can't even tell that I don't normally work in one of these tools. I'm sure I seem very natural at the moment. Front view. Okay, now I'm going to uh, take this layer and use their blur filter and blur this layer Oops. change it back to channel there we go probably a little too much there alright so I'm going to take it right there, say apply now I'm going to right click and say export. It wants to know where I want to save it. I'm going to save it in the same area there with the 3D file. Jobs and just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to call it robot head. Say OK. 
Then we'll go back to Max and load up the texture. And of course, go to the right directory, robot head, and render. So you can see, really great tool, really easy to use. If someone like me who spends no time in these things at all can get up and going in less than an hour, uh, that's pretty cool. So I encourage everybody to take a look at Mari as well as the other great uh, software at the Foundry, Nuke and what have you, and we will see you again soon. Thank you.